What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at the new and improved snapshot grenades in Warzone. For those that missed it, with the Season 4 update, the snapshot grenades got a fairly noticeable buff, especially for squad-based modes, and therefore I did want to answer the question, are snapshot grenades the new best tactical, or at the very least, are they worth using after the Season 4 update now? And of course, in order to answer this question, we have to figure out exactly how the snapshot grenade works. This is something I made a video on about a year ago now, but I'm going to revisit this and then also share what exactly changed with this. And then we'll go from there as far as sharing my opinion on it. So with the snapshot grenade, when you throw it, it has a 12 and a half meter radius. And it actually does two things to reveal enemy players. Most people know about the first one. This is the primary use of a snapshot grenade. This is as long as that player is 12 and a half meters from the snapshot grenade, it will highlight that player through walls. And keep in mind with this, this 12 and a half meter radius, this is actually a spherical radius. So it's like a bubble that surrounds the snapshot grenade when it goes off. So this doesn't have like an infinite vertical radius. If you throw this at the base of the skyscraper downtown and an enemy is on the roof, you're not going to highlight them all the way up onto the roof there. They have to be within 12 and a half meters. But with this, they get highlighted through walls and they will glow bright orange to begin with. And then it sort of fades away into a red. And this is where the first buff from season four comes in. Previously, this highlight effect would only last for 1.25 seconds. So you really had to be on point paying attention to see that highlighted player. And you didn't have that much time to see what was going on, see where that player is, and maybe see what direction they're currently traveling in if they are moving. Post-patch, after the Season 4 buff, this has now been increased to 2 seconds, so they almost doubled the amount of time. It is still fairly short, so you do have to still be on top of things and really be paying attention. But it is much more forgiving now. You have way more time to take a look at the situation and see what's going on. So like I said, that's the first area that most people knew about, at least the general aspect of that. They might not have known about the exact radius or timing. However, there's one other thing that this does to reveal enemy players, and this is with the minimap. And with the minimap, you'll notice when you throw a snapshot grenade, you get a little ping. And this ping is 12 and a half meters, just like the spherical radius. However, this one works in a vertical column all the way up to infinity. So in this sense, in that situation where I'm at the base of the skyscraper downtown and an enemy is on the rooftop, if I throw a snapshot grenade on the ground, it will actually highlight that player on the minimap for me. Now, of course, like I said, this isn't going to highlight them through walls or anything. They just show up on the minimap, but that's very interesting to know. You have that infinite vertical column. And the best part about this is it isn't countered by the ghost perk. So this is one of those very rare circumstances where you're able to make a ghosted player show up on your minimap. And this is huge. It turns out the only counter to the snapshot grenade is the battle harden perk, which not a lot of people are running battle harden. Most people are going to be using amped on their class setups. And this means this is incredibly effective at finding out where campers are, as long as you have a suspicion that they're within a 12 and a half meter radius of where you're throwing that snapshot grenade. Now, just to go a little bit more depth into the Battle Hardened perk and how it interacts with this. The first thing is it'll completely keep you off the minimap for somebody that uses a snapshot grenade. So you won't get any ping whatsoever on the minimap if the enemy's running Battle Hardened. And also, Battle Hardened counters it in the sense that they won't be highlighted through walls if they're using Battle Hardened. However, if they are within that spherical radius, the radius at which you would be able to highlight them, and they are using Battle Hardened, you will get a Battle Hardened hit marker that appears on your screen. So even though you won't be able to see them through walls and see exactly where they are, you'll still get an indication letting you know that there's an enemy within a 12 and a half meter spherical radius of where that snapshot grenade went off. So even Battle Hardened isn't necessarily a flawless counter to the snapshot grenade. And with that, there's one last characteristic of the snapshot that I wanted to talk about today because it is quite important. And this is one of the big things that changed with the Season 4 update. Previously, before Season 4, the snapshot grenade, if you were playing squad-based modes, it would only work for you. Only you would be able to see that minimap interaction and only you would be able to see the enemy highlighted through walls. However, post-patch, now your teammates can see this as well. And this is a really big deal for squad-based modes, because previously it was a bad idea to use a snapshot grenade in squad-based modes, because, like I said, it only works for you. But now, if you have just one player on your squad running snapshot grenades, and then the other players can use the more traditional tactical equipment, like a stun grenade or maybe a heartbeat sensor, then the player that's using those snapshot grenades, he's using those for the entire squad, not just for himself. And I think that's great. And with that, that pretty much covers exactly how the snapshot grenades work in Warzone, and how they've also been buffed in Season 4. But I should also mention that this not only applies to the piece of tactical equipment that you throw, but also many of the Modern Warfare guns, like the assault rifles, 
have an under barrel snapshot grenade launcher on them. This is the 40 millimeter recon. And I did do some testing with this, and it turns out this was buffed as well. This behaves exactly like the snapshot grenade post patch. So they didn't just buff that snapshot grenade that you throw, they also buffed the snapshot grenade that you shoot out of this grenade launcher. And it has the exact same characteristics as a throwable snapshot grenade. So that actually opens up two different opportunities to use a snapshot grenade for you. And overall, I gotta say the snapshot grenade is definitely a lot more usable than it was pre-patch. When it comes to squad based modes, this is now much better since your teammates can see it. And while I wouldn't necessarily recommend everybody on the squad using snapshot grenades, I think it could be very helpful to have that one designated player if you have a very organized squad that's running snapshots. This means if you're in a situation where you know you're approaching a team of rooftop campers or attic campers or something, you know they're up there, but you don't know exactly which corners they're in and which areas you want to be pre-firing, that one player with a snapshot grenade can reveal those locations for his entire squad. So that's very, very helpful in that sense. Then, when it comes to solo game modes, the fact that we got the timing buff, so it lasts for 2 seconds instead of 1.25, that definitely makes it slightly more attractive than it was beforehand. And the best part about this is it counters ghost users, which are a major problem in solo modes. One of the biggest issues most people have with solo game modes is once people get their loadouts, they will just camp and wait for somebody to come by. Wait till they hear footsteps and then they'll attack that player. And many have even described Warzone Solos as being like a horror game because it really seems like you're playing hide and seek most of the time. And heartbeat sensors, while they can be great before people get loadouts, once people start to get their loadouts, the heartbeat sensor becomes kind of useless because almost everybody's running the ghost perk. And this is where snapshot grenades could come in. The only problem with this is you probably will want to be running the restock perk if you are using snapshots because you want to keep replenishing them. It's kind of pointless to just get one snapshot grenade that you throw once and then that's it. And therefore, you will have to sacrifice the ghost perk in order to get restock. But if you are an aggressive player that's actively going out and hunting those campers and the people they're hiding from you, you might not be worried too much about showing up on the minimap. And therefore, this could be a very viable playstyle. Another effective combo that you might want to consider for solo game modes, or maybe even squads if you want to play more as a solo type player, you can still use that heartbeat sensor to get the initial indication of non-ghosted enemies, and then you can use the underbarrel snapshot grenade to reveal their exact location. That way you're not wasting that snapshot grenade. And that could be a potentially very effective strategy, although the downside to that is if the enemy's using ghost, you won't pick them up on the heartbeat sensor first. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think the snapshot grenade is now the best piece of tactical equipment in the game or anything, but I do think it's much more usable, and especially in squad-based modes, if you have a good squad with good communications, I encourage you to designate one player as the snapshot grenade player, and just see how that works out for you as you're approaching a camping squad. See if that really helps the squad out that much. I'd be willing to bet it's going to be quite helpful for many people out there, and they're going to enjoy this quite a bit. Of course, that is just my opinion. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the new and improved snapshot grenades in Warzone? Do you see yourself using this on maybe some of your class setups, or maybe designating one of your squad members to be using snapshot grenades? Or do you think you'll still just stick to the standard heartbeat sensor or stun grenade? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.